Tans? Of course. The retrieving them won't be easy. Or <laughs> that's the spirit. Let's go. Welcome all back to the episode of Warframe. What was that? No, hello, hello. Yeah. I don't know. Changing things up, I guess. Briefly here for this episode. I, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. We're uh, we are Mirage. I don't have the Titron on me. I do have the other two Argo weapons though. Uh, I want to test them out against yeah, the infested, though I guess the damage types are going to kind of destroy them regardless because of their level being so low. Uh, but I didn't honestly know if this mission was going to be the infested variant or the normal variant, but uh, apparently infested this time around. Uh, I also changed the color scheme on Mirage, and I feel like Mirage actually looks a lot better than what the hell I had going on before. Uh, I had like a uh, light cloudy looking thing going on, and this one's a bit a bit darker. Uh, a bit more... I don't know. Intriguing, I guess. Uh, kind of going around her third eclipse where she... Is there a dragon outside? I don't even hear it. Uh, where her, her eclipse gives her bonus damage or armor, uh, depending on what lighting she is in. So I went with that kind of light and darker theme on that, though not like black and white like Equinox, where he literally, it literally has a day and night mode. Uh, I don't know. You actually should be able to see it better in the sliding. I don't know. I like the look a lot better. Uh, I also have the Arc... Uh, not Arca. Sinoid the Heliocore on me. Uh, there is a mod that I want to put on it that I got quite a while ago, actually, and I just haven't gotten back to this weapon to uh, do anything with it. But, the reason for that is because I can have Suda Spectres from it, and I can swing this so much faster than the Arc of Gatron and deal so much more damage while channeling. Woo, channeling! Channeling rules. Yeah, so that Leaper is now my Spectre. At least for the next uh, 15, 13 seconds. God, poison. Poison's not good. Not, not good against Mirage, but it's not max level yet. Plus, I get free codex scans. Codex scans. What does it seem like my uh, clones do? Get the uh, codex scans. I mean, it doesn't seem like I saw a few of those enemies turning green from the the scanner. But yeah, as long as I kill a enemy while uh, channeling with the Sinoid Helio Core, I can actually get. A clone of them to assist me in fighting for I think it was 20 seconds in total I think maybe it was 30 but it's very very useful very very awesome and I love it and I like it and I have a ribbon mod for it that's not on yet which is what I want to put on and damn you game putting me into an instance that has a bunch of freaking people on it uh, let's see go ahead, mods. let's go ahead and just turn the uh, sculpture that we got in that mission in right away for Indo because I, I I don't have any intentions of trying to sell these. I don't have any intentions of placing these decorations. I would like for them to eventually show on my screen though. Hey, came to trade? Or All right, finally. Find some oh, that's right. I got the saw sculpture too from a mission I was running. Oops. Yes, not no. I wish there was a faster way to place all of these, because this gets real, real fast. It's fun for the first... Oh, I don't know. Couple dozen, I would say. Sculptures. Especially when it's a new sculpture. But after that... God, kill me now. If you're looking for Maru's Bazaar, you've come to the right place. All right, another 7.6k endo coming out of this. Awesome. Oh, what a haul! It must have taken you forever to fill these with stars. No, no, it didn't, Maru. It really did not. 
In fact, viewers got to watch me fill in two of the three. I've, I've turned in uh, turned in one before, and she says that same line, and she's like, what? What? I get it's a random chance, but I mean, at least have a threshold of, like, at least five sculptures to turn in. Five sculptures or... Oh, I don't know, 15 stars in total between them all for, for that line to possibly trigger. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, oh, the arsenal. So yeah, Sinoid Heliocore. Let's take a look at it. This is what I have for a build. It's a bit more channel focused between Killing Blow and Focus Energy, but uh, it's not fully channeling focused. Uh, as you can see, I have a lot of just straight up damage on here. I don't want to go stupid focus because, uh, or uh, channeling focused on this because uh, channeling mods suck. Channeling in this game sucks. But I wanted at least to have a little bit here of bonus because, well, this weapon has a special effect with the channeling, uh, as you saw. So, these two mods work quite well. Focus energy giving me that channeling efficiency and electricity. Killing below giving me the extra channeling damage because, well, since I'm channeling anyway, I might as well have a damage multiplier higher than uh, 1.5? 1 1.8. It's one of the few, mo uh, few weapons that actually has that high of a channeling damage multiplier on it. But I do have this uh, Helio Core Ribbon. Now the stats on it aren't terrible. Uh, you can see I've rolled this once. I don't know what to replace it with, honestly. I don't have any mod on here that really just focuses on melee damage outside of Prime Pressure Point and that ain't going anywhere. Do you remember the old war, Operator? Nothing on here does impact. Those for me to try to replace it off of that. Uh, the range mod on the ribbon is great. Doesn't rival Primed Reach, but it's there. It's up there. I like it. And the negative to combo duration, eh. I could do without. But I really want this mod on here. I really do. But it requires a forma, especially because it's Vazarin. <laughs> ah, goddamn Vazarin. And because it costs 18, of course. But there's nothing on the Helio Core I have right now that says to replace it by. Now, I could probably get more damage with this on than not on right now. Uh, but I would like to try rolling it a few times. If I can't get something better, I will go with this. However, it looks like we need Kuva. Uh, for us to even try to even start doing that so I need to buy a resource booster I believe because I think mine expired uh, should I get a three day or just a 30 day three day 30 day seven day how much does seven day cost again 80 this cost 200 right yeah uh, now plat per day I will say this the 30 day is cheapest for plat per day that said, that is also a lot of time commitment saying, hey, for the next 30 days, I intend on being on and actually playing quite consistently. So, we're going to go with the 7-day for now. Uh, if When the Planes of Eidolon update comes out, I will be buying the 30-day because I will be playing a lot. Uh, but for now, let's just go with the 7-day. Uh, speaking of Planes of Eidolon, that should be coming out hopefully with the next, actually, week. Uh, actually, I did not even intend that. They they said by the end of the month is their goal. I said this once before, but yeah, by the end of the month is their goal. And you got about another eight days before that happens. So hopefully, hopefully they get it done by then. Uh, Eris is probably the other plane that they have. Yeah. I'll pass on the Flood uh, for now. Uh, especially considering it's against the Infested, slash Gunnir, against a Mirage that's not max rank with not even a max vitality mod on. <laughs> so I shall pass against them for the time being. Because I would rather not die. Repeatedly. Especially against level 80 to 100 guys, the Gunnir would probably be able to kill me with one slash proc. Uh, the Infested Toxin would definitely kill me quite quickly. I would have to spam so many health pads, it wouldn't even be funny. Damn you, double doors! I don't really care about the hostage here, Lotus. Though, I care enough about the hostage for me to get the hostage to not have the hostage die until I get to the exit, because that means I have a mission success instead of a failure. But, honestly, 
I don't really care about the hostage. I don't really care about the hostage at all. I don't care about the hostage normally. Even outside of the Koopa Siphon mission. Like, it's just not worth the time. Always gets caught, repeatedly. Like, whoever they are needs to uh, get decommissioned and or fired from their position for getting caught so much. Not me to press, boy. Wait, what? Go up. Get, get over here. Ow. Story, Quaid. Plasmar, how do you do against all the fires again? Yeah, not too bad. Not too great. Two of the four. Why must you let them hurt my siphon? So I've been thinking, what could they do for an infinite Kula siphon mission? Couldn't really come up with a good legitimate thing. That would make a whole lot of sense considering what they have established with the Kula siphons uh, as of now. However, I did come up with the idea that uh, there could pot potentially be more than one site. More than one. Siphon in a mission that is actually marked as a Kuba Siphon. Now, if you think about it, the reason I think this would actually work within the concepts of the current game and what they've established uh, is because of the whole fact that I want this person. Alright, Guardian? Guardian? You. You get to die first. Before I grab that. You useless balls affect me flesh. You let them destroy my Kuba site. You destroy Queen's Kuba Siphon. We can't allow Uh so yeah, multiple siphons existing in a single mission could definitely be a thing. I mean I would say there is Kuba in the air planet mission sector, whatever the hell it may be. Uh, that allows them to extract it. So, surely it can't be just concentrated to one singular spot, right? I mean, they, the, the siphons pull from multiple directions in a room. I, I can't imagine... one direction being the only thing allowing the siphon to flow. Uh, so like this room, for example. I could see a siphon being in this room, along with the other room that they where it was in, uh, they could put a cap on this quite easily, reducing the chance each time one has spawned for an additional one to spawn, and only spawning the next one in the chain of the last one spawned successfully. Uh, but that way you can actually get missions where there could be potentially one, uh, let's call it one to three siphons on a mission. Force players to actually explore it, the, the mission in its entirety. Allow people to only grab one or two if that's what they need you, before leaving. So, something like that. that. That'd be great. I would love stuff like that. It would also make grinding out Kuva a lot less tedious. Because uh, doing this type of mission over and over again... Sure, gets me out of the sector. Gets me something different each time, more or less. Uh, unless the no resets, of course. But god, does it get annoying quick. Especially after a few hours of Kuba farming and you get to roll a uh, river, uh, river mob like twice. It's not, it's not very inviting to continue playing. Like honestly at that point I, I kind of feel like I should just continue... I don't know, farming Haragon. It feels more interesting. It's a lot less work. Yeah, that one run gave me 1,202 Kuva, and that's only because I have a resource booster. I can get more if I have a cat, and it happens to give me the buff before the final uh, Kuva comes around that gets picked up. But that'll double that up to 2,404. Uh, it cost me 3,500 per roll on a ribbon that has a lot of rolls on it to begin with. It's just not worth it. It's just not worth it at all. 
honestly, it, like running these missions just it's tedious as hell. But we're gonna do it anyway. At least once more. Assuming I didn't go like drastically over time or miscount when I actually started. I did not. Cool. So yeah, with this we will be able to roll maybe twice. Maybe maybe we'll be able to roll twice. The uh, hi uh, Heliocor Riven. Ah, that's fun. Ah, that's where the other guardian is. If I wasn't seen, I'd be very, very surprised. Siphon, you are having some difficulty summoning up the, the loading Kuva ball things. I, I still haven't fully understood the grasp, or, or I, I haven't fully understood or grasped the concept of what the hell Kuva actually is. I just know it's some sort of powerful essence that the Orican may have used at one point that the queens are now using to sustain their life. Or, sorry, Queen. Along with the Yakuva Grenier. Guardians make me laugh. Die. Go away. Yay, flow. Not the mod. Forgot not the mod. I don't need any more copies of flow. Not too many copies. I've sold off a lot. Actually, for resin. Uh, Verando. Not essence. God, I wish I could sell it off for Koopa. That'd be great. Actually, that'd be interesting. Uh, during the whole uh, quest where you learn about Koopa and whatnot, you get a weapon called the Broken Scepter, which had a orb of a, uh, I don't know, tear, I guess, tear shaped orb of Koopa attached to it. It'd be interesting to know why that weapon had that orb attached to it. Uh, but not just that. I'd be more interested if there was a weapon that could have a low chance. I don't care what the chance would be. Low chance to harvest a, a couple Kuba just off of killing enemies. Uh, maybe it's less against Corpus, but more against Veneer. And then even more against uh, Kuba Veneer. One or two Kuba. I'm not asking for a whole lot. Especially considering some of these missions can last for an hour or two and like a total of 2,000 guys could get killed, so one or two Kuba is more than plenty. I wouldn't mind a weapon that, that could do that, and I think a lot of people would actually probably use it. Yeah, I think a lot of people would use that kind of weapon. That's not good. That's an alternative to uh, running these missions. Or hell. Running these missions with that weapon as well. And I would expect it to be melee. And not have a range factor to it because that just seems a bit cheap. Yeah, the, the work concept of being able to like command Kuva out of a body or area would be great. Oh, hey, it's an Amos. I would love to, but the Corpus ships hit way too damn hard with their damn turrets. So, hey, Liz, how you doing? It's been a while.
I don't know what you're trying to laser at there, but okay. Unless you aren't doing jack for damage against these guys. I'm disappointed. More of just a distraction than help. You are mine now, Moa. Oh, I'm supposed to get 10 melee kills. Alright. I can do that. I could do that. Oh, right, that mode was still down there. You know, the, the negative combo duration on that rhythm mod I have for this weapon actually makes me wonder something. Since I don't have body count on here, Begin with, or uh, uh, Blood Rush. And there's an inherent two second, I think, timer on it for the, the combo multiplier. What would happen if I have a negative five seconds? Do I just not, never get the opportunity to have a combo multiplier? Is there a minimum cap? Like a second or something? This is a question I need to know the answer to. If you're not worried about the combo multiplier on a weapon, I mean, you're more after the uh, channeling effect. If they ever add a channeling melee weapon, that is interesting. Uh, I, I'm kind of curious. What a negative combo multiplier set uh, that would drop you under or to zero or below zero? Actually, do something to uh, the multiplier. I don't know. I have no idea. Let's get out of here, though, shall we? Hmm. I just gave myself a weird question, and I'm not. I I really don't know what the answer is. I like even knowing about this game as much as I do. I don't even have a remote guess to what would happen. Uh, but let's go ahead and roll that Heliocore ribbon. Chances are I may not get anything better, but uh, I, I I just got the Kuva, so we may as well just roll it on camera here, right? Uh, one hundred eight point six percent melee damage, sixty five point four percent electricity, and side attack has sixty four point one percent chance to be a critical. Uh, not a big fan of that over this, honestly. Uh, it is better, in my opinion, than what I had there, but not by much. Uh, toxin electricity, I'll pass. And that is it for the Kuba. Uh, we will, we will actually mess around with a negative 5.3 second combo duration, uh, in next episode. But that'll have to be it for this one, I hope you guys have enjoyed, until next time though, as always, take it easy.